Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video on solving trigonometric equations too. In this video we're going to look at how to solve trig equations which may need some rearrangement by using the trig identities first of all. Before you watch this video, I highly recommend you watch some other videos in Corporate Maths and they are the introduction to trig equations and also solving trig equations one. And those videos will sort of lead you up to this point. Okay, let's have a look at two trig identities which may be useful for these examples that we're going to go through. So the first trig identity is tan x is equal to sin x divided by cos x. So that's going to be one identity which is quite useful. And another identity which is quite useful is sin squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. And that can be rearranged as well. So if you have, if you subtract cos squared x from both sides, that will give us that sin squared x is equal to 1 minus cos squared x. And also, if you have subtracted sin squared x from both sides, instead you would get cos squared x equals 1 minus sin squared x. So those identities are going to be very useful in these examples we're about to have a look at now. Okay, let's have a look at our first example, our first question. So our first question says, solve 3 sin vita equals 4 cos vita for um, vita between 0 and 360 degrees. So first of all, as you can see here, we've got 3 sin vita and 4 cos vita. Now, this doesn't look like any of the examples that we solved in solving trig equations 1. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at this first trig identity, that tan x is equal to sin x divided by cos x. So if we have a look at this uh, equation, 3 sin vita equals 4 cos vita, if we divide both sides of this equation by cos vita, that would give us 3 sin vita over cos vita equals, and then obviously 4 cos vita divided by cos vita would just leave you with 4. Now here we've got sine vita over cos vita and as we can see sine x divided by cos x is tan x so sine vita divided by cos vita would be tan vita so that would be 3 tan vita equals 4. And this is beginning to look like the equations that we had in solving trigonometric equations 1. So we can just divide by 3 to get tan vita equals 4 thirds. And now this looks very much like those questions that we had in the previous video. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the same approach to solve it. So we're going to take the inverse tan or the arc tan of 4 thirds. And when we do that, we get 53.1 degrees to one decimal place. And we're going to mark that onto the cast diagram. So we've got our cast diagram. Let's put in our lines, or our angles. And we are going to mark in that acute angle of 53.1 degrees. And we'll mark it in all the other locations on the diagram. 53.1 degrees in here, 53.1 degrees and here 53.1 degrees. Now we had tan vita is equal to 4 thirds, so we're looking for the, uh, the quadrants where the tan is positive. So that will be in the first quadrant, not the second quadrant, the third quadrant, and not the fourth quadrant. So we're looking for this angle and that angle. So we'll start at zero, and we're gonna go around to 360 degrees, and we're gonna get our solutions. So our solutions will be vita will equal, starting from zero, well, we've got our first answer, that's gonna be 53.1 degrees. And then if we carry on around, well, that's 180, and then if we add on another 53.1, we'll get this angle here, and that's going to be equal to 233.1 degrees. And if we carry on around, that's not a solution, and that's it, we're done. So if we were asked to solve the equation, 3 sine vita equals 4 cos vita, we would divide through, or you know, divide both sides by cos vita to then get our tan vita, and then we would just solve it, and our answers would be 53.1 degrees and 233.1 degrees. Okay, let's have a look at our next question now. Okay, so our next question. We've been asked to solve 3 sine squared vita subtract 2 sine vita equals 0 for angles between 0 and 360 degrees again. Okay, so this looks a little bit like a quadratic to me. It looks a bit like 3x squared subtract 2x equals 0. And if I was asked to solve that, I would factorise it and then get my solutions. Well, we're going to do the same for this trig equation. We're going to take uh, sine vita out. So we'll take sine vita out by factorising. And that will give us 3 sine vita inside the brackets subtract 2 and that equals 0. So obviously because we've got two things timesing together to be 0 that means that either one of them can be 0 so that means that either sine vita equals 0 or 3 sine vita subtract 2 equals 0. So first of all, let's start off with our sine vita equals zero. I tend not to use the cast diagram for um, solving something like this because obviously you should know what the sine graph looks like. And if we're trying to find the solutions between naught and 360 degrees for whenever sine vita equals zero, well, it's obviously equal to zero at zero degrees, not 90, at 180 degrees, 
not 270 and at 360 degrees and obviously it's for a vita is bigger than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 360 so for this part of our equation the sine vita equals zero vita could equal zero it could equal 180 degrees or it could equal 360 degrees okay so that's the first bit of the the equation solved now we're going to solve the second bit which is obviously this inside of the brackets could be zero the three sine vita subtract two equals zero so what we're going to do is we're going to solve this so we're going to bring the two over to the other side or add two to both sides three sine vita equals two and dividing by three would give you sine vita equals two thirds Okay, so just like all the trig equations in solving trigonometric equations one, we're going to do the inverse sine of the arc sine of two thirds. And when we do that, we get 41.8 degrees to one decimal place. And we're going to mark that onto the cast diagram. Or in your cast diagram, you'll mark, the, get, mark on those angles. And let's mark in that acute angle of 41.8 degrees. And mark in the other angles we know in the diagram, 41.8 degrees. 41.8 degrees and 41.8 degrees. Okay, so we're going to be looking for, because obviously sine vita equals two thirds, which is positive, we're looking for the quadrants where the sine is positive. So that's sort of the first quadrant, the second quadrant, but not the third or the fourth. So we're looking for this angle and this angle. So starting from zero, we're going to go around to 360. So our first solution would be vita equals 41.8 degrees. Or carrying on round, we've got this angle, which is 180 subtract 41.8, which whenever we do that, we get that is equal to 138.2 degrees. So if we were asked to solve this equation, 3 sine squared vita subtract 2 sine vita equals 0, our solutions would be, and I tend to write them out in one big list, vita would equal 0, or could equal 0 degrees, it could equal 41.8 degrees, it could equal... 138.2 degrees, it could equal 180 degrees, or it could equal 360 degrees. So we've got lots of different solutions for that one, um, but that's it. So if you've got a trig equation which looks like a quadratic and it equals zero, then sort of treat it like a quadratic, factorize it, and then consider where your, you know, what your angles could be. If you have a sine vita or a cos vita equal to zero or one, it is a bit sort of just quicker and simpler to consider the graphs to get those solutions qu uh, quite quickly and simply. Okay, let's have a look at another example. So this time we've got tan squared vita plus two tan vita subtract three equals zero. Again, this looks a bit like a quadratic. It looks like x squared plus two x subtract three equals zero. So we're gonna factorize. So we're gonna have two brackets equals zero. In our first bracket, we're gonna have tan vita and in front of there, we're gonna have tan vita. We're looking for it to multiply together to be minus three and add together to be two. So I'm gonna go for plus three and minus one because obviously uh, minus one times three is minus three and minus one plus three is equal to two. Okay, so we have got here that tan vita is equal to one or tan vita is equal to negative three. Now, if it was sine vita or cos vita equals negative three, that would be quite nice because we could just rule that out because obviously sine uh, uh, vita or uh, cos vita is between minus one and one. But because it's tan vita, that graph, if you do a sketch of it, it, shoot, it goes up zero, up to infinity, asymptote goes up and so on. So tan vita minus three, then we'll have solutions. So let's first of all start off with tan vita equals one. So like before, we're gonna do the inverse tan or the arc tan of one, and that will give us 45 degrees. So we know the acute angle is equal to 45 degrees. So let's use the first cast diagram here, and we're gonna put in our angle, our acute angle of 45 degrees here. And then obviously 45, 45 degrees and 45 degrees. And we're looking for quadrants where the tan vita is positive. So that's the first quadrant and the third quadrant. So going to start from zero, that's gonna be 45 degrees. So vita equals 45 degrees. Or going all the way around to here will be 180 plus 45 will be equal to 225 degrees. So that's our two solutions for that part of the equation. Now we're gonna solve tan vita equals negative uh, three. So let's clear our class diagram.
obviously if you're in this in an exam you would leave that method there on the page and you just draw another one but I'm sort of um, pushed for space here so we're going to solve tan v to equals negative 3 so remember do the inverse tan or the arc tan of the positive value of 3 and when we do that that's equal to 71.6 degrees so let's mark that on the cast diagram in the acute angle so 71.6 degrees 71.6 degrees 71.6 degrees and 71.6 degrees and we're looking for quadrants because it was tan theta is equal to negative 3 we're looking for quadrants where the tan is negative so that would be what's positive in the first quadrant it would be negative in the second and it'll be negative in the fourth so we're going to be looking for this angle and this angle so starting from zero working our way around our first answer will be equal to 180 minus 71.6 so 180 minus 71.6 6 would give us 108.4 degrees and if we go around to this angle sir, from 0 going all the way around to here well that's going to be 360 subtract 71.6 and that will give us 288.4 degrees so our four solutions to this equation of tan squared theta plus 2 tan theta subtract 3 equals 0 would be theta equals 45 degrees 108.4 degrees, 225 degrees, or 288.4 degrees. And that's our solutions. Okay, so let's have a look at two more examples. And both of these examples are going to be using the trig identity sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1, or give my examples, sine squared vita plus cos squared vita equals 1. Okay, so let's have a look at our first one. So our first one is solve cos squared vita subtract 3 sine squared vita equals 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to make, rather than having cos squareds and sine squareds, we would just want to have one of them in there. So we just want either cos squareds or sine squareds. So we're going to replace either the cos squared with a 1 minus sine squared, or we're going to replace the sine squared with a 1 minus cos squared. So what we're going to do is, that in this one, I'm going to replace the sine squared. So I'm going to write cos squared vita, subtract 3 brackets, and instead of sine squared vita, I'm going to use, obviously just rearranging this identity, you can get that sine squared vita is equal to 1 subtract cos squared vita. So we're going to put in here, instead of sine squared, we're going to write 1 minus cos squared vita, and then that's equal to zero. Okay, so well, that give us whenever we expand cos squared vita subtract and then multiplying three so times uh, one would be equal to three. So that's going to be subtract three and then negative three times negative uh, cos squared vita would be plus three cos squared vita and that equals zero. Simplifying this, well, cos squared plus three cos squared would be equal to four cos squared vita subtract three equals zero and then just like the um, trig identities we solved in solving trigonometric equations one we're going to solve this so we're going to uh, add three to both sides that's going to give us four cos squared vita equals three and divide by four will give us cos squared vita equals three quarters now obviously that's cos squared but we're going to need to square root so that's going to give us cos vita equals plus or minus the square root of three quarters and that would be if we square root three quarters that would give us root three over two so plus or minus root three over two so we're going to uh, do this on the cast diagram or actually root three over two you may know your exact trig values off by heart um, i'm just going to carry on with the cast diagram here so we're going to do the inverse cause or the arc cause of root three over two and when we do that 30 degrees of course so that equals 30 degrees and so that means that we know that theta well the acute angle is going to be 30 degrees so we're going to mark that on on the cast diagram and we're going to put in our 30 degrees our 30 degrees our 30 degrees and our 30 degrees so we've marked in the acute angles and now we need to decide which quadrants to go for. Now we had cos theta is equal to plus or minus. So we're looking for quadrants where it's positive or negative. So that's going to be all four quadrants to get our values of theta. So we're going to get theta equals starting from zero. That's going to be 30 degrees. Moving on round 150 degrees. Moving on round 210 degrees. 
and moving on around 330 degrees. That was a quite nice one to solve. So if we were asked to solve cos squared v to subtract 3 uh, sine squared v to equal 0, um, all you need to do is either replace this cos squared with 1 minus sine squared or the sine squared with 1 minus cos squared and then just expand, solve that and yeah. Okay, and our last example. Our last example is to solve 3 cos squared vita subtract 5 sine vita equals 1. Now in this question, it sort of obviously we know that cos squared is equal to 1 minus sine squared. In equations like this, I tend to want to replace either the cos squared or the sine squared, whichever term is the squared one. So here we've got our cos squared vita, so we're going to replace the cos squared vita with 1 minus sine squared vita. So we're going to write 3 and then brackets 1 minus sine squared vita close brackets subtract 5 sine vita equals 1. So again let's expand our brackets so that'll be 3 subtract 3 sine squared vita multiplying both of these by 3 subtract 5 sine vita equals 1. Now because we, we want to solve this it's, it's going to be it sort of looks almost like a quadratic with the sine squareds and the sines. Because we've got our negative 3 sine squared vita I'm going to want to bring everything to the right hand side or you know bring you know add 3 sine squared vita to both sides add 5 sine vita to both sides so everything goes over here. So that would give us 0 equals adding 3 um, sine squared vita to both sides would give us the 3 sine squared vita on the right hand side. Adding 5 sine vita would give us plus 5 sine vita. And we have our 1 but we're going to subtract 3 from both sides of the equation to get rid of it on the left hand side would give us a negative 2. Now what we're going to do is we're going to factorize because this to me a bit uh, looks a bit like 3x squared plus 5x uh, plus 5x minus 2 equals 0. So we're going to factorize this. So that'll be bracket 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 bracket. So we're going to write 3 sine vita and sine vita. We want to get a plus 5 sine vita and we want our negative 2. So I'm going to write a plus 2 here because then that would give us 3 sine vita times 2 would be plus 6 sine vita and then I'm going to put a minus 1 there so then that would be the minus sine vita to leave us with just the 5 sine vita in the middle and then we've got our negative 1 times 2 which would be negative 2. Now whenever we then want to solve this that would mean that either 3 sine vita subtract subtract 1 equals 0 or sine vita equals on this one negative 2. That's great because that can't happen. Sine vita cannot equal negative 2. So we can just cross that out. I love it when that happens. And then if we look at this left hand side here, if we add a 1 to both sides, we're going to get 3 sine vita equals 1 and dividing by 3 we're going to get sine vita equals 1 third. So we now need to solve this so we're going to do the inverse sine or the arc sine of 1 third and when we do that we get of 1 third is equal to 19.5 degrees 19.5 degrees to one decimal place and then we're going to mark that on the cast diagram that acute angle and we're going to get our solutions. 19.5 degrees, 19.5 degrees, 19.5 degrees, and our 19.5 degrees. And that's um, sine vita was equal to one third, which is positive. So we want the quadrants where sine is positive. So it's the first quadrant and the second quadrant. So we're going to start from zero and work our way around. So that would give us vita equals 19.5 degrees. And moving on round, it'll be 180 subtract 19.5, which is equal to 160.5 degrees to one decimal place. And that's it. So the trig identities which may be useful in solving trig equations may be tan x is equal to sine x divided by cos x. Obviously, you can replace the x's with vetas. Or sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1, which can be rearranged nicely to either sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cos squared x or cos squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. And then those identities can be used to rearrange the equations into a nice format, which can just be solved by using the same approaches as solving trig equations 1. That's it.